This is Lesson 10 Homework, Module 7, Second Grade. Write your name. Tara showed 30 cents two ways. Circle the way that uses the fewest coins. So fewest, the fewest, like few, uh, it's least. Another way to think of it is least. Or the smallest number. So fewest means least or smallest number. So which uses the fewest amount of coins? This one uses one, two, three, four coins. This one uses two coins. Two is less than four. So I'm going to circle the way that uses the fewest number of coins. That's the fewest coins. Now, what coins from A here were changed for one coin in B? Well, we still have, both of these have a nickel, right? So these three would be the same as that quarter because you still have the nickel left. So this part, the nickel plus this stuff has to be the same as this nickel plus that quarter, which that quarter is 25. So you know that these are both 25. So what coins were they? It was the dime, two dimes and a nickel. Those are the coins that were changed for that one. Show 40 cents two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. So 40 cents two ways. So the first way, I'm just gonna draw four dimes because it's 10, 20, 30, 40. That's four coins. Is there a way to do it with fewer coins, with less coins, less than four coins? There is a way to do it. Uh, you can't do it with four. You can't get to, um, you can do it with three coins. You can't do it with all dimes because that's, it takes four of them. You have to use a larger coin, a 25, a quarter. You can't use two quarters because that would be 50, and that's too much with just two coins. You only want 40 cents. So I can't use another quarter, but I can use another dime. Now I have 35, and I'm, I can only I could have a nickel. For another five and that would get me to the 40 and that's the that's how you do it you have to use the biggest coin you can and then add to it without going over and that's how you figure out the fewest coins show 55 cents two ways use the fewest possible coins on the right below so for 55 let's just draw 50 we'll just draw five dimes because we don't want this to be the fewest possible number of coins because we want that to be over here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then a nickel, 55. And I could draw five pennies too. That nickel will be five. Now fewest coins, if I want to use the fewest number of coins, I have to use the largest possible coins I can use. So that means I'm using quarters. Twenty-five, two twenty-fives makes fifty, and then a nickel would make would get me to fifty-five, and so I can do it in three. Um, we don't usually um, we're, we're not using fifty-cent pieces. If we were using fifty-cent pieces, that is an actual it's a real coin, but we're we're only using quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. But if we we're using fifty-cent pieces, you could do it with two coins, right? You can do with a big 50 cent piece and a nickel, but we're not using 50 cent pieces for this homework. Next page. Show 66 cents two ways. 
use the fewest possible coins on the right below. So now we're doing 66 cents. So we can do the same thing. Let's just draw six dimes. It's six tens, right? Four, five, six. And I can, I can do six pennies. Or I can do a nickel and a penny. Fewest possible coins. If I'm going to use the fewest possible coins, I'm going to use the largest value of coin that I can. So those are 25. Those are quarters. Uh, I can use two of those because that adds up to 50 cents. Three, another quarter would make 75, and that would be too much. So I can only use two quarters. So now I'm going to use the next largest coin I can use. That's 50. I can use a, now that's a dime is the next highest value I can use. 50, that's 60. Uh, I can't use another dime because that would make 70. So I can use a nickel still, 5. So now that's 50, 60, 65, and then a penny will get me to 66. And that's the fewest number of coins I can do it with, and that's 5 coins. Show 80 cents two ways. So here we go, 80 cents. I can do it all in dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And the fewest coins, I'm going to use quarters, as many as I can. 225s is 50. Uh, but I can use 80 cents. I could use another quarter because that will get me to 75 cents. So that's right, that's 50, and then another 25, that's 75 cents. And then a nickel will get me to 80. Right? I can't use a dime from 75 because that'll get me to 85. That's too much. I want to stop at 80. So I could just add another nickel, a five. And that would get me to 80 cents, right? Because that's 25, 50, seven, uh, 75, and five more. Four is the fewest number of coins you can do it with. Show a dollar two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. So dollar um, two ways. I could draw 10 dimes. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and make all these dimes ten tens is a hundred. Please don't draw a hundred pennies. If you can fit them in that box, just please don't. It takes too long. And the fewest coins, if we're going to use the fewest number of coins, we want the the highest value coins. So, and that's quarters, twenty-five cents at a time. 25, 25, two quarters makes 50 cents. And I can do another 50 cents. I can make a dollar and four coins. Seven. Tara made a mistake when she asked for two ways to show 91 cents. Circle her mistake and explain what she did wrong. Explain is hard. But I think if we just try first to figure out what her mistake is, uh, we, let's do that first. Do the first thing. First. We'll circle the mistake. So let's see. First, we have this and we have that. Let's see if this even adds up to 91 cents. Three quarters, that's 75. A dime, then that's 10. That gets you to 85. A nickel. Is a five that gets you to 90, 91. Fewest coins for 91. So she has nine dimes and one penny. That's 10 coins. And this way is three, three quarters. That's three coins, three, four, five, six coins. So her mistake is that she actually did it with fewer coins the first way, and this was actually more coins. So this is her mistake. That wasn't the fewest coins. Uh, but we have to figure out what she did wrong. Um, this is probably the, the, the smallest number of coins you can do it, because we have the 75, 
Uh, you could do it. You could do it even better than that because we could do it with. Let's see, seventy-five and then two. Uh, seventy-five and it makes eighty-five. No, you can't use two dimes because then you'd have ninety-five cents. So then you have a nickel and then that one penny you have to have to get to ninety-one. This real. This is the fewest. So it looks like this is the fewest number of coins you can make 91 cents it looks like she put these two in the wrong box so what did she do wrong uh, it looks like she um, she wrote answers in the wrong boxes.